sauce in here. And I just figured I'd tell you guys that, uh, well, for the next three days, I'm going to be kind of busy, and I won't be able to produce a a uh, uh, vlog for the next three days. I uh, got myself uh, kind of busy here with some stuff going on in the house and all that, and with family and everything. And so, uh, yeah, won't be able to make anything brand new, which kind of sucks because uh, this is the whole point of the daily summer vlogs, uh, to make one new video every day. Well, what I decided I'm going to do, uh, in my absence anyway, we're going to continue the daily summer vlogs, obviously, because why, why should I quit? But uh, because I don't have much time to uh, upload anything for the next three days, uh, I'm going to I'm going to do something better. Uh, this has never been uploaded on my account yet. It was uploaded on my Frankie Aces five six seven zero one account, but it is my exclusive interview that I did three years ago when I was still on the radio at Pioneer Night Part One. Uh, with uh, Lance Warlock, and if you don't know who Lance Warlock is, well, some of you are real, real, real horror fans should know. But uh, if you don't know, his his father was is Dick Warlock, and Dick Warlock played Michael Myers in Halloween 2, the original Halloween 2, not the new one. And uh, he Lance uh, was the boombox boy in that movie. But the reason why I interviewed, got to interview him, and why I interviewed him in the first place wasn't because we were friends or whatnot, it was because of his history with uh, horror and also being a uh, musician like a uh, movie scorer. Uh, I'll put all his information down below, uh, but this is the exclusive interview that I did with him three years ago, pretty much three years ago this month, and uh, yeah, you'll get to hear the first three parts of it anyway. Uh, originally, this is where uh, you might hear some music here too. But if it uh, if it gets copyrighted or whatnot, then I will re-upload it, it with just the the interview that we did, let alone the music that we talked about. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know your feedback. And we'll see you here to, by this weekend. I will definitely have some footage from uh, you know s some big thing coming up here soon. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. To the Frankie Aces show. You know, the end of July, I tell you, it's beautiful out here. It's Friday night, you know, Friday night, 11 p.m. here on Frankie Ace's show, midnight, uh, 11 p.m. to midnight, I should say. And uh, with me, you know, a while back ago, I, I did a show with Mickey Jones, and he uh, he, uh, he and I kind of kicked off summer. Well, we're already in the middle of the summer, or the second half of the summer, and with me was a guy that I, I could say was number nine on the interview list of people that I've interviewed, I, my pleasure to bring back Lance Warlock. Welcome back. You know what? I had no idea I was nine. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, num or yeah, hey, number eight was your dad. So you know. ah, that is awesome. Well, I'm as I was before. This is going to be great, and uh, thanks for having me. Oh, it's a privilege, I should say, to have uh, somebody of your stature to come back and. You know, I mean, this this is amazing. Okay. Well, I buy that. My stature is only 5'7", but, you know, I keep working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to your body at work, you know. <laughs> and maybe we won't even go to that one there. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, hey, uh, man, man, that, of course, is uh, doing, doing okay, too. So all right. it's all good. So what have you been up to these days? Well, um, let's see. The the easiest way, I actually just finished. There is a contest out there. And, and excuse me for kind of being a little bit vague because it was more of a phone call that I received. But the situation is there's a, there's a national worldwide contest that is a 48-hour film contest. And apparently they go to different larger cities. I believe it's kind of like every weekend or whatnot. But you sign up, and then at 7 p.m. on Friday night, you go down to this facility, and the head of the contest tells you your topic. For instance, this weekend I got a call from a Seattle film group that said, our topic is a buddy movie. We have to make a short film, which is either no shorter than four minutes, no longer than seven. 
it once they told them at seven o'clock Friday night the premise of the film, it was up to the filmmakers within forty eight hours to hand deliver a piece. Okay. And that was written, edited, you know, shot, scored, the whole bit forty eight hours. Wow. And that's actually what I just finished. Um because they called me, and, you know, trust me, it's the oddest thing when they say to you, your theme is buddy, think friendship, think fun, but we don't have a script yet, so just write something that you feel like would be neat. <laughs> and you go, okay, I'll, let me try this. So, lo and behold, they got it turned in. Um, I know that it now will be judged there was 48 entries from the Seattle area. Um, they will pick one, and I believe then it goes to yet another stage in the contest. Well, that that sounds interesting. That's a that's a pretty uh, tricky contest. What do you think about it? Uh, 48 hours to put everything together. Yeah, and of course, I think the hardest thing was they don't have a clue what it's going to be about. So with this particular group, they had had it somewhat casted. They had talked to a handful of people that basically said, you know, male, female, whatnot, I don't know if I can use you, but if I need you, would you be available for 48 hours? <laughs> you know, and oh, by the way, it's free because we do it for the love of art, and we turn it in, and we hope we win. Yeah, there you go. We don't and get paid so for it. <laughs> all of a sudden it's like, okay, let's make a move, and it all has to get completed. And I got the phone call at about 7.30 that night on Sunday saying traffic was bad, we missed the deadline. Oh, wow. And, of course, everybody panicked, and then they said, just joking, and it was fun and all. <laughs> everybody, except me, because I'm way out on the outskirts, and I was not involved in that production end of it, they were all up on everything you can imagine, you know, caffeinated to stay up for that duration, while I was able to just write a piece of music, go to bed, get up, write another one, do my thing, and see which one worked. Jeez, I never saw the piece until it was done. So, so you basically got the easy job. See, the way I figured it out, or in fact beforehand, is that uh, you had to participate in making the video as well, let alone the music. From my knowledge, with what they told me, and like I say, I'm vague because I'm on the outside. They just, I just had to provide the music, but I had to do the paperwork with all of my information and signature stating that I was an entity that really did write it. It wasn't canned. It wasn't stolen. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. You know. Hopefully that's. Uh, hopefully that was the way it was supposed to be. So. Wow, that's that that's actually what what just came down this weekend, and that's the sort of stuff. I mean, I love that type of challenge because really that kind of comedic slash, you know, campy, cheesy. We used a lot of words like that. The um, that's not as much my forte. Okay. And it was trickier until, you know, all the guy, the director said, I'll tell you what, if you can think of the TV show Family Matters. And I said, well, I was never a watcher, but I know the series. I'll find it. And, you know, he said, that's the closest thing I can tell you that I'm envisioning musically. Huh. <laughs> and if you can miss, uh, envision uh, Steve Urkel saying, yeah, I knew that. Hey, exactly. You know. 